Hi everyone, this is Professor Benjamin, and in this video we're going to show you the percentage of individuals that were in this specific race that were unarmed, um, that were killed in police shootings. So you will see um, we found out the number of unarmed, and if you have questions about how to find that out, you need to watch the last video that can be found in the Technology of Criminal Justice slash databases PowerPoint. So in order to find percentages, we do the same thing that we did in part one of this assignment, um, where we take 45, we divide it by 303, and we find the percentage. So I'm going to walk you through this one. So right here, we're going to go up here to the formulas. We're going to say equals 16 divided by 100, and that gives us 0 0.16. We're going to make it a percentage, so we're going to hit percentage up here, and we are going to increase the decimal place. So remember how in the past video I showed you how you can do format cells and add a div another decimal place? Well, another way you can easily do that is right up here, and you can say add a percentage. So this would be 16% um, add a decimal place. I apologize. Right here would be to decrease the decimal place. So if you want to do two, you just click here twice. If you want to decrease it, you click on that one. So there's a little helpful tool for you. Here, um, so this is a little bit different because there were no unarmed um, Asian Pacific Islanders, so we would say zero, you could do it, zero divided by 10, it gives you zero percent. Um, you could do this one here is one, so we're going to say equals one divided by 13, enter gives you 0 0.0769, we're going to hit percentage here, eight percent, and we're going to do that to make sure it's 7.7. .7. Right here we have two and we're gonna divide that by 49, and we have right here our percentage. Um, remember, we found these numbers already um, in part one, so you have that information. Percentage, and we say increase, and then we're gonna do again, this will probably be zero, okay? So here we go, we have our um, percentages killed that were unarmed. So we're gonna look at these two numbers here, because look at this. This is the percentage of individuals that were killed overall. And then this was how many of those individuals were unarmed. So 47.9% were killed, right? 14.9% um, were unarmed. But look at this. 24.6% were killed. And 167 almost 17% of that were unarmed, which leaves very few percentage of, in, of those individuals were armed when they were shot by police. So again, a wonderful tool to show individuals about facts versus feelings um, is that, yeah, 24.6% were killed, um, but of that, 16.7% of those individuals were unarmed, which is huge. And when we mean unarmed, we mean they didn't have a gun or a weapon or any sort of weapon, meaning a knife or anything, okay? Um, of Look at this percentage. Um, so this seems a little odd here. So 15.8, 16% of them were killed. So we need to look at this. This looks a little off here. Um, We'll, I'll have to dig deeper into that. But for the point of this exercise, we'll look at that. 7.7% um, were um, Native American, were unarmed. Um, we have 4.1% here. So I need to look at why these ranges are a little bit off. Um, but we could take a look at that um, later. But these are the percentages as per the database. So we'll take a look at that, and that's what... Um, this So whether you're using Google Sheets or Excel, this is how you would find the percentage of unarmed that were killed. If you have any questions, let me know.